I'm in Griffith in New South Wales, which is smack bang in the middle of the Riverina. And this is where so much of our great produce comes from. And one of the great things they grow here is of course this Murray Cod. I've got Bill sitting over here and I've got Gil right here. And what I'm gonna do is cook this Murray Cod in the pan. I'm gonna cook it nice and simply. What I'm gonna do is put a couple of little score marks into the skin. This will stop it from curling up, but also make it look nice and pretty as well. And what I'm gonna do is season it up. Salt and pepper is what you need. Salt loves meat, meat loves salt, and fish is the meat of the water. So we need to make sure we've got plenty of salt and pepper on the outside there. I make sure I season it up nicely so I crisp the skin. Now into my pan here, which is nice and hot, and it's really important to use a really good non-stick pan because that will stop the skin from sticking. I've got the fish like this, and what I'm gonna do is pop it into the pan. You can see it's smoking a little bit, and here's a little trick. I grab the fish like this, and I put it down, and so the fish falls away from me. By doing that, I make sure that I don't splash myself. And the trick is that we cook it about two thirds of the way with the skin down, and that will allow the skin to become nice and crisp. And what I'm gonna do is season the other side as well. I've got one side seasoned, I need to make sure both sides of the fish is seasoned. Beautiful, some salt on there, and of course some pepper. You're probably thinking I'm putting a lot on here, but it's not. We need to make sure it's seasoned properly. If you're worried about having too much salt, don't put any salt on your veggies. No one's gonna eat them anyway. Well, they will eat these veggies because they're gonna be delicious. Now, what I'm gonna do is just carefully move the fish around and I'll just pop it up here so you can see. It's just starting to crisp up nicely and it's firming up. This will take about three to four minutes on one side and then I'll turn it over to the other side to crisp up the bottom of it and then I'll put some asparagus, some spinach and mushrooms together to finish it off. Now you can see the cod has become nice and crispy. And because the fish is so fresh, it's really, really firm, just what I want. Now what I'm gonna do is pop it onto the plate here and move it aside. Now I'm gonna make something to go with it, some vegetables, because you need to have some veggies in your diet. I've got some onion, some garlic, and some thyme that I've sliced nice and thin. And I've just picked the thyme straight off the top, beautiful fresh thyme. What I'm gonna do is just give that a little bit of a toss around like this to soften it up a little bit. Now if it dries up a little bit, you can just add some more extra virgin olive oil. Now what I'm gonna do is make a little sauteed mushrooms with some spinach and asparagus, just to give it a bit of a sparkle. Now in go the mushrooms, you can use whatever sort of mushrooms you want. I've got some shiitake mushrooms that I've sliced. And what I did is remove the stem from the shiitake mushroom. It can be quite firm or a little bit chewy. And I've got these lovely little oyster mushrooms here, brown oyster mushrooms, and I'm just gonna peel these off and and throw them into the pan. Now, if you've got button mushrooms or you don't like mushrooms, you don't have to add them, but I think the mushrooms give it a really, really nice flavor. And what I do is I saute the mushrooms around into the pan here for a couple of minutes so they soften up really, really nicely. And then all I do is throw in the asparagus tips and a bit of spinach, toss it around with a little bit of butter and it's ready to go. And then I might make a little bit of sauce with some lemon juice and a bit more butter and some herbs. This will take a couple of minutes. Some salt and pepper in there and it'll be ready in no time. Now the sun's come out so I better finish this off quickly. I've got some asparagus spears that I've cut into little pieces. I'm going to throw them into the top. The asparagus doesn't take very long to cook at all. All I want to do is just soften it slightly. I'm going to throw some spinach in here, some baby spinach that I've made sure I've washed and some white wine. We need a little bit of white wine with the fish as well. A good splash of that. That'll give me some steam to wilt the spinach down and to cook the asparagus as well. Now while that's going around, I'll put some more chives and dill into the top of it and cut some lemon. There we go, a nice little cheek of lemon. Now to bring that together, we need some flavor and nothing adds flavor more than butter. A nice knob of butter just on the side here and that will help to give it some richness and bring it all together. Now of course, a little squeeze of lemon and I'll just squeeze it around like that. Now all I need to do is just toss that around once, twice, let that butter melt down gently. You can see there's enough heat left in the mushrooms just to soften that up. 
There we go, just give that a little bit of a toss around like that. You can see the spinach and the asparagus has wilted into the mushrooms. Now I'll come over to my plate here. The butter has made it really nice and creamy. A little bit of white wine and lemon juice in there for acidity. There we go, pop that onto there like that. Give it a bit of a tap and all I need to do is grab some of my Murray Cod, nice and crisp like that. Pop some lemon on the side. A little sprinkle of fresh herbs over the top. This looks fantastic and it smells great as well. And you'll be happy to note that I've got lots of veggies with it as well. So I'll just cut a little piece on the side there. And crisping up the skin is really worth it. As I cut into it, it was like a, a little piece of bacon, really crispy. The flesh is fantastic. And when it's this fresh, it's just got a beautiful aroma to it. Just that slight Murray Cod flavor to it, slightly oily, nice and flaky. It is one of Australia's best fish. And mm, mm, the crunch and the flavor from the skin is beautiful, but the soft flesh is just outstanding. It's one of those fish that you really have to try. It's simple to cook, but the trick is buying it nice and fresh. This is fantastic, and I could think of nothing better to eat on a beautiful sunny day.